three hours? Okay, we gonna have to do this in parts. So our first couple, honestly, I think they should match because they are both lipless wonders. I mean, Mark, <laughs> how do you eat without lips? How do you keep your food in your mouth without lips? How do you do it? And then the neck juice goes right into the chin. I see why you on here. So I guess lipless Lindsay will be a perfect match for you. And she's the wild card. Okay, I thought she had crazy eyes. And you're wicked committed, so you're controlling. So basically, you're the drunk and the conservative from last season. These sorry experts. So they didn't pick your ass four years ago, and you still think this shit's gonna work? Child, you dodged a bullet once, but I guess you're gonna catch it this time. Maybe if you got a lip, you could get a wife. Because I could see her just being afraid of getting gnawed on. That's what it is. Your teeth is scary. They call you Mark the Shark because they're scared of your teeth too. Oh my God. <laughs> I go after it like a shark. You look like a shark. You got a pointy nose and a lot of teeth. Okay, already. You got cats instead of dogs for practice kids. You know nothing about children until you can handle dogs. He got a sick mama and his friend's like, you better tell your new wife that because she may not, you know, be signing up to be part of the infirmary. And he right, that that's a lot for a new relationship. And also, it's sickness and in health with you. I ain't signing up to be like, okay, now I got to take care of your mom. There's, there's a level of, okay, adults got an adult. I'm not running through my savings for your care. Also, how you going to have a new wife Try to jump and get some kids and you got to take care of your mama. Some going to have to give. I hate to say it, but we talk of reality. Or do we want to live in a fantasy world where everybody has that much time? If we want to, hey, you know what? And, and the vibe I don't exist either. I did. I never left New York. Pizza live. Oh, Lord, but let's meet this wild one. Ooh, who told her to wear this on TV? I don't know what it is, but I don't trust a white woman who wears a herringbone. I just, girl, I don't, I don't trust. If go on and date the black man you want to date then, if that's what we're doing, then I could trust it. It's like, oh, okay. All right. You down with it. But uh-uh, you, mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's like an anklet. It's just something I peep. Lindsay, you're a terrible liar. How do you expect to keep a marriage together? You were engaged last year and five days before he called it off. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. This guy was in the leftover pile. They had already screened him. And then they took your chicken cutlet butt who fell on the floor, dusted it off real quick and threw it right back on the plate and handed it to him. Y'all ain't gonna last. Well, you know what? There might be hope. They both have cats. So at least she ain't allergic. Pet allergy needs to be number one. You allergic to my dog, you allergic to me. You see a spark that's red hot that's gonna burn between Mr. and Mrs. Shark. No, you know, cause her mama ain't shit. She gonna be happy to help take care of his and she ain't allergic to cats. That's what y'all base the match on. I watched this show for barely two seasons and I see your sorry ways. Now we have Katina and Olajuwon. This ain't gonna work. She's party chick no more, and he's the ex-playboy. You see, you got to have somebody that ain't going to be slipping back into old habits. They both going to be tipping out on each other to go to the club. Olajuwon, fine. He the type of man you bring home from the club. You let him stay for the weekend. You let him stay for the weekend. Because you know round three in the morning is going to be real good. And he even will be intelligent enough to do a decent brunch. But after the weekend, you got to let him go because otherwise oof, it's going to be a disaster. Sounds like he had a pregnancy or an HIV scare. <laughs> He's like, let me get out of this life. I had to find out who Olajuwon truly is and I waited two years. Some heifer got married on you. That's what happened. It's one of the three. Oh, Lord, he's comparing wife love to mama love. If I could get my wife to love me as much as my mom. Oh. So you're 30 going on 22. Look good, though. You look good. A weekend. A weekend. I knew somebody who looked just like that, but I ain't going to tell my business. But a weekend. 
Everybody says, I want my kids to have a mother and a father. I want my kids to have health care and a pool. They ain't never going to have a mama. Sorry. They're going to be motherless children. I'll just have to be pappy enough for two. But that health insurance, honey, they really going to need that. A father could be a shithead. A whole bunch of people like, I wish I didn't have a father in the home. So, oh. You couldn't have gotten that back of your head edged up before you came on national television. Mm -hmm. He don't want a wife, he want a mama. That's the thing, some men need to realize you don't want a wife, you want a housekeeper. You want a nanny. And there are women that will be happy to be hired for that. You want a hot meal when you come home. That is a paid service, a paid service. Do I want my husband to be able to cook? Yes. Can I throw a couple dishes together? Sure. But I ain't getting married because I want a hot meal. Maybe a hot man. But I mean, if I want a hot meal, a DoorDash. A hot meal when I get home. Oh. You want a mother. I I'm sorry. Even if I was into women, I would not be like, oh, I'm expecting a hot meal. Maybe on the holidays, I'd be like, but we cook together. I would hope you'd be able to make something. <laughs> but also, if you can't cook, you just, it's, everybody can't cook. Some people are really, really good at it. Some people is like, we could just order. It's fine. A hot meal. I want to come home to a hot meal. I never expected no hot meal. A hot meal. A hot meal. I swear. You know what? I, wake, I remember my grandmother always was like, He's got to have, she would yell at my mom. You've got to give him a hot breakfast. You've got to give him a hot breakfast. Mom, he wants cereal. That's what he wants in the morning. But when I would go to my grandmother's, she'd be like, you're having a hot breakfast. So it would either be like eggs and bacon and toast or, you know, cream of wheat or oatmeal with raisins. But she was not letting me, you know, wake up and leave that house without a hot breakfast. It was just, <laughs> she wouldn't have it. Now, normally I'll eat cereal for dinner or sometimes as a snack. Rarely will I eat it for breakfast. And I have to say, I do like a hot breakfast. I will make my, but I make it myself. I ain't got no man, but when I do have a man, I ain't never expecting him to get up and cook. Maybe I'm dating the wrong men. But I always get up and cook. One, because it's my house, so I know where all the shit is. Stay out my kitchen. When you come over, make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. <laughs> That's the truth. It's like, just ask me. I'll get it. I'll get it. Just calm down. I might make some, some Jiffy muffins tonight. I think I have an egg oil. That would, that would be nice. That'll hit the spot. I love a blueberry Jiffy muffin with some milk. Do people still drink milk? I heard somebody say people don't drink milk anymore. I love milk. I always try to keep milk in the house. Also, you know what? Nobody told me when you grow up how fast food spoils. I damn near start dating somebody just to keep the food from going to waste. It's wasting anyway. Just had to throw away some wings, high as they is. But back to the show. Oh, his friend is cute. In this blue Nike shirt, his friend cute. Yeah, he on his chauvinist. I mean, you could just hire a chef. They will bring over some piping hot food or they will make something for you. You can have a little chit chat and then they take their butts home. He gonna say, oh, if she can't cook, that's not a wife. Well, you ain't a husband. Oh, Katina, you nasal. Girl, you nasal. Now I see why you single. Well, I hear it in the nasal. They ain't tired of hearing your awful dating stories. They tired of hearing that voice. Okay, why y'all gonna set this girl up who says I've been cheated, I've been played with an ex-cheater and an ex-player? The, the trust is already broken. Another shitty match. So we have monotone as Steve, and as much adventuring as he does, he seems boring. I mean, he's a year younger than me. Why he looks so old in the face? Shouldn't be nothing going on under the eye. Is there anything going on under my eye? And I'm 39. And Beyonce is 41. 41. Hell no! This trip showed me I don't want, I don't need a lot to be happy. Throw the whole man away. Next. Next. 
I do. I need a whole lot to be happy. Well, I don't need it to be happy, but I'm going to have it anyway. I'm going to have it because the white folks said I couldn't. You think I'm about to go on vacation with you sleeping in a car? The fuck? That's dirty ass shit right there. That's dirty ass shit. Oh my goodness, they done done a black version of Panic Room with Nicole Ari Parker, Drea Day, and Drea Day Mateo. You know what? I gotta record that. I gotta record that. Safe Room. Oh God, this heifer got an alter ego who likes to wear wigs. Girl, you are not Batman or Catwoman. Hang it up. Our fourth couple is Jasmina and Michael. Jasmina too pretty for him. I can tell you right now. They both treasure their large families with their shared values and cultural ties. Go on and say because they both black. Go on and say it. They wanted a black match. It's okay. It's okay. Cultural ties. They both black. Like we ain't looking at the TV. Miss No Nonsense seems more Miss No Personality. I'm sick of these people saying, I want a big family. I want a big family. You got big family money? Actually, her and Michael might work because he's boring as all hell, too. Now we got Alyssa and Chris, and, and they ain't gonna match. Alyssa is too fit for him. Now, I ain't saying fit people and not so fit people ain't gonna work out, but that's something where y'all gotta really decide what's going in this refrigerator. Because she looked like salad and he looked like steak. Wait, you couldn't even tell your mama you was getting married at first sight? Oh, Lord. I guess this is the hidden sissy of the group. I could tell it by that frisbee throw, that flick of the wrist. Wait, so you think you should be pickier so you gonna take the first thing they throw at you? Boy, you stupid. K. Michelle then got a new show, My Killer Body, about plastic surgery gone wrong. Well, talk about what you know. So Alyssa is a dog rescuer. I love her dog. I love her dog more than anybody on the show. The dog is beautiful. Okay, so that was part one of the episode. We didn't met all the couples, and um, I, I really don't see these working out. I don't see any of them working out. But I'm going to see you soon for something.